It's the Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> Show and here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Well, hi there, nice to see you there. Welcome to the Sergio Show with me, Sergio Dominguez. For this episode, we're gonna take a look at my home slash animation studio, Sergio Studios, and see how my precious animated cartoons are made. Yeah, let's. Go! Welcome to Sergio Studios, where all of Sergio's animated dreams come nowhere. Let's see how my crazy cartoons are made. Whee! First, here is the writer's room, where a writer comes up with an idea for a cartoon, makes the story, and writes the script for it. The writer for this project we're working on is a great writer with a great experience for writing other cartoons, including The Sergio Show. His name is Sergio Dominguez. Hi. Hey Sergio, what are you working on right now? Oh, it's a, it's a great innovative idea for a cartoon short. It's about a Hollywood talent agent that treats his job like a secret action agent. Yeah. Wow, sounds innovative. Yeah. Just great amounts of imagination. Now if you excuse me, I'm going back to my loneliness to create some fictional things happen. La la da da dee dee doo doo hoo 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 Let me just take you guys to a quick detour to the prop room. It's where all the props and stuff from the Sergio show since 2008 are collected in this very room. Anyway, let's move on. So with a kick booty script written, we take it to our storyboarding stage, where some artists make rough old drawings to go with the scripts. It later gets presented, discussed, and changed by our story team, by a great and imaginative story man named Sergio Dominguez. I told you, the comedic twist that makes the joke funny is that they're gonna beat him up anyway. Yes! Brilliant! Wee! The cartoon starts coming to life when we get to see some voice actors and record the dialogue for the cartoon. Now, we try getting some of the finest voice actors for our Sergio Studios projects, but when we realize we don't have money, we resorted to this guy. <coughs> oh no, I am stuck inside the paper. Wah. Just masterful. We take the recorded dialogue, take it to an audio editor to manage the audio and perfectly time the cartoon. The audio editing process is very tedious and the person who does it gets nothing but the utmost respect. But we're too lazy to show this person who audio edits and you know who does this. But we're taking you to the greatest moment in the cartoon production process. The animation process. We tried getting some of the best professional animators in the business to come work here. But when they found out who I am, they all magically ran for their lives. So we ended up getting, you know who. Oh, uh, hi you guys. I'm a professional animator. Uh, Sergio, why are you disguised like that? Oh, just wanted to give the audience false hope. Oh, that makes sense. So how's the process going? Painfully tedious, but I'm making this great animated project with digital cutout keyframe animation because nothing keeps a cartoon exactly on model while not taking too long to put together than that form of animation. Yeah! <sighs> You're probably wondering why this show uses animation when there's a set for live action video recording. Well, it uses both. Since I'm a cartoon, me being video recording technically counts as animation in this weird universe. Anyway, let's move on. Those awesome animated shots gets edited together somewhere. We're not going to show you that because we can't find any way to make a joke about that. But 
we take you to the sound effects process, where this guy makes these sound effects as gracefully and authentic as possible. This is the sound of garbage and stuff. From there, we take you to the last part of the process, where all the parts of the cartoon, such as adding sound effects and music, we preview it with the ultimate leader of these Sergio Studios cartoons. The director. So, what do you think? It's okay. It's good enough. After all that, it gets scheduled to be uploaded onto the internet. And that's the end of the Sergio Studios animation process. And that's the end of the Sergio Show episode. I would like to thank the crew of Sergio Studios for showing us how my cartoons are made. You're welcome! Whoa! You're all real duplicates of me? I thought all that was just a bunch of special and editing effects that jokingly proves that I'm the only one that makes my own cartoons! Oh, no, 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 no. Just to start, 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 Oh. Okay, well, I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Go get your favorite snack because it's the only fun thing you're going to experience because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Well, hi, you audience members. Welcome to the Sergio Show with me, Sergio Dominguez. Now, let's get this show started with... <laughs> Oh dear god! EVM, how did you- What? Huh? <laughs> 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! Ow! Why do I feel like that's the fourth time you did that? Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying, have an animated day. Blah. Sergio Studios. Spooky supernatural beings beware, because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hey, welcome to the Sergio Show, and I'm Sergio Dominguez. Now let's get this show started with... Oh great, another blackout. Just when I started recording animating this thing. Girl out. Huh? What's that? Girl out. Uh, no. I live here. You're the one that needs to leave for intruding my home studio. Girl out. Look, you demonic sounding douche! You need to get out or I'm gonna call the cops for intrusion and for threatening me! Huh. I'll take that awkward silence as a sign that you left. Uh. Eh. There we go, lights on. It's a good thing I got this backup light switch installed, huh? You know? I just got hungry for some reason, huh? Excuse me, folks, I wanna go get a snack. And I'll be right back. Ah, now I'm going to go back to my show. Ah! Jeez, I thought I closed that cabinet. <laughs> what was that random noise? I think, I think I need to use the bathroom. I gotta get my head cleared out. I just gotta calm the gosh darn down.
Huh? Well, this looks a little weird. Is it the lighting? Probably not the quality of the mirror. Yeah, there's something definitely wrong with this mirror. Okay, okay, I get it. I have a couple acne scars, a couple freckles here and there, and a birthmark under my ear. You don't have to be so exaggerated about it. Oh my goodness! A green light bulb! Ah! Ah, 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 oh no! Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Oh. oh! Episode callback! Ah, ah, ah. Ah. selected by our Dark Overlords to be part of our very own prank video on our horror prank internet video series channel. Ah, uh, phew. So all that supernatural stuff was just choreographed for a prank video? Mm-hmm. And all that was just captured by this hidden camera ghost with his own HD digital ghost camera. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to end this episode here. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Hello? Grandma? 
Grandma? Grandma! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, I miss you so much. Come in, come in. I'm gonna start recording for my show right now. Wee! Sweet old ladies, I hope you enjoy this because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. We got a great episode right now. Let's start this episode off with... Sorry, you guys. I'm just distracted by the beauty of my awesome grandma. She's just visiting from out of town. Do you have anything to say, Grandma? Ooh, you are just so cuties! You know, it's been a while since we re-met. So for this episode, I'm going to give my Grandma a little tour around the Toon City. Vamonos, Abuela! Welcome to Toon City. As you can see, not many things have changed since the last time you were here. The only real big changes are those two fast food restaurant chains being shut down due to lack of interest. Well, but other than that, Toon City is still a calm and peaceful place. So peaceful that you don't see too many people out in the open. Kinda leaving something open like a- <sighs> <gasps> Grandma, are you okay? Oh, that guy stole your purse! I'm gonna call the police right away, tell them what happened, and you can tell them- Grandma? Where did you- They couldn't have gone that far. Uh, I found her! Oh, Grandma, I found you. Are you alright? Let's see. Not a scratch on you. I guess you're okay. Look, Grandma. <sighs> I love you. Vos sos mi abuela. And I just don't want anything bad to happen to you. You're like in your mid to late 60s. And you are just so fragile. Especially to me. So, I'm gonna try my best to take some time to pay attention to you to see if you're okay so you can continue living a long and healthy life. Also, be careful with going to these alleys around here. You don't know what to expect from here. And just for the life of me, I don't know how you can handle yourself in this crazy animated world. But whatever. I guess that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I would like to thank my grandma for visiting and seeing me again. Oh, look at you. You're such a sweet little grandma. Oh, yes, you are. We are. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Nothing says like happy holidays, like two mediocre stories and one decent one at the end put together because it's the Sergio Show Christmas Special 2. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez.
Ho ho! I gotta take care of my rogue reindeer better. Ho ho! Oh? Oh! Oh! Here you go. So, how are you doing? You good? Oh well, I'm doing just fine. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go now. Uh, enjoy your holiday, so... What? Oh, you've kept the other half. Wow. We were so young back then. So full of hopes and dreams. Well, thank you. It's been great seeing you again in person. It's been a long time. Well, see you later, and... <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Have a happy animated holidays. Sergio Studios. Get your robot sidekick ready because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm your host, Sergio Rodriguez. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I mean, Dominguez. We got a good show for some of you guys, so let's start this show off with a little presentation. Imagine this, you're an animator. You're working on your latest cartoon, but after working up a sweat making 24 keyframes and your animation program crashing for the 80th time, you just end up needing some help. The parents that you live with can't help you and your little sisters have moved on with their lives. You're anxious with finishing up your cartoon, 
all you need to take it down to the home stretch is a can of soda and a pat on the back. Well, after a while, I figured out a solution to your animation production dilemma. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Animation Assistant Robot X. The ARCS. Ta-da! That's right, folks. One lonely man with pieces of other machinery took to make this one machinery. After watching one show and a couple of movies that have a human with a robot sidekick, I decide to also make my own cliche robot friend assistant thingy. Some people say that sounds inspiring. Others say innovative. The internet will say it's so effing stupid, pointless, and some third obscenity here. Yes, yes, all true. Let me show you how it works. He functions with audio commands. Just command him to do an animation related function or small service and he'll do it. Let's begin. First, AARX, hand me a prepared blue pencil. Thank you. Second, AARX, hand me sheets of animation paper. Lastly, A-A-R-X, hand me iced tea. Ah, A-A-R-X, you did a great job. Also, he's equipped with various animation supplies for most of the animation process. Building him wasn't easy, but that month and a half was tedious but worth it. With a clear vision, passion, low budget, and the fact that this is a cartoon so any kind of impossibility could come true, I knew it would be possible. Also, here's a clip of my groundbreaking efforts. <coughs> <coughs> Got it! Now for the glue gun. Breathtaking. <sighs> he doesn't speak due to a low budget cutback, but he does have a special feature of developing a personality the longer you hang out with him. But he does have a unique feature of expressing emotions. You see, he has a light bulb on the side of his face with many different colors, so whatever emotion he feels, a color will light up. As for what color expresses what emotion, well, wouldn't I like to know? How was that possible, you ask? Well, for me, I just typed some random code on a program, put it into a flash drive, and stuck it somewhere in him. You want to draw? Okay. Here you go, give it a try. Sorry, AARX, but you're not programmed to animate by yourself. You can only go as far as really drawing accurate shapes really, really well. Look. It's not because I can't, it's because I really, really can't. You see, one of the big skills to be an animator is to have a really great sense of imagination and creativity. That is something that can never happen through computer coding or robot engineering, as far as I know. I know earlier I said that we are all cartoons in an animated universe in which anything can happen, so why not have that skill already inside you? But I was half joking on that. Sometimes a reality of a cartoon can be as random or just half-assed. You would need a brain to be an animator because that's where all the imagination, creativity, skills, and thoughts that can be sidetracked by the imagination to become an animator yourself. So, sorry AARX, but you did a great job anyway. Thank you all for my presentation of this guy. I'm gonna go take a nap. La 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 la. Uh, 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 uh. Why am I strapped on a table with regular clothes on? Oh, hey, AARX. What are you doing? You're going to cut open my head for my brain so you can use it to be an animator, aren't you?
Uh, look, I know you want to be an animator, but you have to know that what you're doing is ethically wrong about this. Your developing personality should make you realize this soon. Hopefully. AARX, no matter what, you're a good robot so far with a lot of potential. Your destiny in whatever you do is going to take some time. Please don't do this. Oh, AARX, thank you. I know there is a great robot inside of you somewhere. But I'm too busy right now to work on you, so I'm going to have to put you into storage until I can get back to you later. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I would like to thank AARX for assisting me and trying not to kill me. Anyway, I'm Sergio Delminguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Ooh. Anyway, it's the Sergio Show. Uh, and here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Oh. Uh. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm, well, you know who. Anyway, we got a good show. Oh, sorry, you guys. I didn't have that good of a sleep last night. So bear with me. I'm a little tired, but uh, maybe I can go through with this. Oh, anyway, let's begin with the show with, let's see here. I've never had a musical guest. I can't do that because I'm too tired. Can't do that or that. Mm. Oh. All right. Sorry, you guys. I I need to wake myself up. Once I do that, maybe I'll have the energy to do this show. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> that there we go. Some nice cold water in the face. Maybe I need to pour some water in my eyes. Feel a little bit better. Maybe if I can drink something, maybe it'll make me more awake. Huh. All right, let's see what we have to drink. Iced tea, iced tea with a lot of sugar, iced tea with less sugar, green tea, blue tea, orange tea. Uh, let's see here. Oh, caffeinated iced tea. Nice. Ah, I do feel a little bit better. Maybe if I walk around my home studio, maybe I'll start getting the animated blood going. Let's see. Huh, huh, huh. Huh. Feel a little better. Granted, there are a lot of hallways in my home studio. Huh? What is this light coming from this room? Huh? Oh, it's you. You look so beautiful. So majestic. So sensual. My bed. Oh, I just want to get a good look at you. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. You can do this. You can get through this. But this 
bed. So soft. Well, maybe if I just lie down a little bit, maybe I can just relax enough. Not sleep, but relax and see if I can regain my energy. Ah, so good. Now, what are you doing? No, don't sleep. Don't sleep. You can do this. You can do this. But this bed, so cozy, so comfy. It feels so good. So good. Oh, this bed is so awesome. Crap, I'm sleeping. Says this voice in my head that can only talk while I'm sleeping. Well, let's hope this is a short nap so I can just get up and get back to the show. 16 hours later! Oh boy, I feel fantastic! Yeah, that was an awesome nap! Woo! Yeah, now I'm ready to do the show! Now let's get this show started with... Oh, by the looks of it, that's the end of this episode. Uh... My apologies, everybody. I knew I shouldn't have used that phone while I tried to sleep last time. Well, I guess that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I apologize one more time for my sleepy behavior. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Who's the show that likes to do it on a small budget? Well, it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Sergio Show. With me, Sergio Dominguez. Now let's get this episode started off with doing a bottle episode. Yeah. Why? Because the first five episodes of this season, that's why. So for this episode, I'm going to give you the backstory to my home studio building, Sergio Studios. And it's going to be told through crayon drawings on loose leaf paper. Not only that, throughout this season, you got to see the insides and outsides more of Sergio Studios. So, might as well give you the backstory. So let's begin the story. It all started when... Uh, uh, oh no, wait, we have a transition problem. Huh, let me fix this. No, this is not the right transition. Nope, this isn't it. Come on, let's transition to the right story where we're going to see some crayon drawings. Okay, there we go. So it all started back in 2008 when I started this show. The first three or so episodes of the Sergio show were done in my room in my parents' house. Needless to say, I have made a couple loud noises here and there, so my parents decided to make me work on a show in a much better, expansive canvas. So they gave me the rights to this warehouse they owned, and from there, I decorated it into the animation home set that you see today, Sergio Studios. The building was great for me to expand the opportunities the show could take me. I've used pop cultural references, animation satire, and it gave me enough space to make time travel possible by doing a couple of time travel episodes, yeah! I bet none of you are asking at this point, how did your parents own a warehouse that they gave you to make this weird ass show? Well, let me kind of tell you. Uh, oh darn it, we're on the wrong transition again. Still the wrong transition. Come on, no, this is not how you transition. This is not the right scene. Transition now. Uh, I think I'm fixing it. Uh, I really don't want to call customer service. Let's see if we can fix this a couple more times. Uh, ah! There we go. We are in the beginning of the right scene. They've won it at a poker game. Yes, a poker game. You see, many years ago, 
they went to the Toon City Poker Place where they usually go to play poker and they played a special tournament where they were up against this business guy. He wagered the rights to his warehouse that he owned in Toon City in this poker game. Okay, the game is on. Now it's down to Sarah and Fabian Dominguez up against this business guy. Huh. He has a good poker face on, but he's still in the game, so maybe he has a good hand. Oh, what's this? He's about to wager. Yes, it's, it's the rights to this building he has in Toon City. Oh, interesting. Now, Sarah and Fabian are wagering all they got. Now, here's the hand. Oh, he pulled out two aces. Oh, and Sarah just folded. He, she has a weak hand. Oh, what's this? Fabian has a full house? He did it! He won the right to the warehouse in Toon City! He did it! The game is over! He won! Yeah! Yep. And I'm very thankful that they gave me this place to live in and make the art that I want to make of the show some people kind of saw. Well, I guess from here, that's a good time to end this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching. I know this episode was made on the quick and cheap, but yeah, I apologize and I apologize again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Ah, good thing I have one more hour until I start recording the intro to the Sergio show. Huh. Huh? What? Wait, it starts now. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, it's the Sergio show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Sup animation buddies, welcome to this show, The Sergio Show. I'm the cartoon guy, Sergio Dominguez. We got some kind of a show for you today. Let's get this started with... What the heck was that? Oh no. <laughs> huh. It can't be. It just can't be! Oh, great. Someone did take it. I'm... I'm alive. <sighs> What's going on? You work for me now. Well, hi there to you too. Welcome to my lair. Huh. Seems like a freshly closed warehouse. Now how about that proper introduction? Okay, fine. Hey, I'm an a mastermind! I immediately regret asking for an introduction. Uh, I appreciate you somehow giving me a rebirth, but seriously, wh what? 
I'm a mysterious yet stealthy thief who steals priceless and rare animation artifacts. I brought you back to life because I have a mission for you. You see, I found a random internet forum that somewhere in Toon City there is a large stock of old rare animation cells from an old timey long ago closed down animation studio and they say it's located in this place called Sergio Studios. Hmm. Go there, take down you know who, and I'll go and steal the hidden animation treasure. Okay, a uh, couple of questions. First, my previous master who made me like this and made me do the previous plan, he gave up on you, so I swept in and took my advantage. Alright. Second, why can't you do this plan by yourself? Because, not to toot my own horn, but I was defeated by that dumbass suit machine thing. Look, having you as a distraction will be a great way for me to get in there properly. You see, I've seen you on the Sergio show. You are really good, and all you need is some help and training. With just you and me, Sergio won't stand a chance. So, what do you say? Hmm, deal. Fantastic. Also, another thing? Yeah, so sorry to make you such a pointless character, but I think it's more unfair to be reborn again only to become someone else's animation puppet. I got this. As for your little reputation of being a priceless animation property thief, I guess I do have a little bit of original Sergio in me. Because it does look like a lifestyle I can get into. <laughs> and that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. You will see a continuation of this plot in episode 121 of The Sergio Show. Hopefully, because the next episode of the show is going to be a little bit more special. Probably. So, just letting you know on that one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. Get ready for a week as special effect because it's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Well, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Sergio Show with me, Sergio Dominguez. Now, for this episode, it's going to be pretty special because I'm going to go to the live action world and meet myself in the real life world. Now, going from a cartoon into the live-action world is not an easy or solvable problem. Sometimes a cartoon in the live-action world is either complex, or how to get there is kind of a mystery. But in this case, I got a text from my creator saying he wants to meet me in the live-action world, so I rented a portal to the live-action world. And here it is. So for this episode, I'm going to go meet myself. The real live-action me. So how am I going to enter this? Simple. I want to just slip on this little banana peel and accidentally fall into the portal of the live action world. So wish me luck you guys. <clears throat> oh, what's this? The door to the live action world. I better walk towards it but not fall into it at all. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. oh. Well, I guess I stayed here. Oh. No! Thank you, battering ram ex machina. Okay, I'm gonna just stop yelling and enjoy this free fall into the live action world.
Oh. Oh. I've been expecting myself. Looks like you've made a grand entrance. Oh. You're live action me! Oh. So, cartoon me, how are you doing? How are you feeling? You know me, being a cartoon and all, I'm pretty swell. How about you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. So, what have you texted me here for? Oh, the reason why I summoned you here is just, you know, for you and me to hang out, you know? Cartoon me, real me, having a good time for a while, you know? That's why I brought you here. Oh. S sounds good. Before we have that montage of you and me just having a good time hanging out, I do want to say a couple of things. Oh, really? What's that? You know... Ever since I created you back in 2008, I've been doing my best to make you special. You know, you and your show just try to make it the best that I could at the time. Thanks to you and all these wonderful fans, we got to do that. And hopefully in the future, we can get to make this show even more special. And I, and I just want to say thank you. Aww. But I really want to thank you for just giving me this existence. You know, I enjoy being a cartoon despite the crazy impossibilities and weird realities of being a cartoon. There ain't no problem. You know, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be a cartoon because you grew up watching a lot of cartoons from the 90s. How did you know? Well, you are talking to yourself, so you partially know who you are. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. But yeah, look at this wonderful fan art wall. Yeah, that's a pretty darn good fan art wall. Thanks to my wonderful fans. Thank you. So, do you want to start off with the wonderful pointless montage? I know it! <laughs> well, that was a good time. Yeah. So, there's your portal back to your own home. I had a good time. How about you? Yeah, I had a good time too. Will we ever see each other again? Yeah, if I have a plot or pointless reason to bring you back here, sure, we can meet again. Thank you and love you. Well, thank you and love you too. And... Have an animated day. Me too. Have an animated day. Anyway. Whee! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I gotta rent a different live action portal. That one's a little bit too intense. Anyway, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. I would like to thank live action me, Sergio, for inviting me into his live action world. Thank you very much for watching that effect. I hope you like it. And, and that's pretty much it. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day.
Sergio Studios.